Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, and today's unboxing is on L-theanine. Now, with the last few months and uh, us having a surge all over the U.S. going into winter and the holidays, but usually the holidays will perk up everybody because they get to see old family members that they haven't seen in a while. They get, they get to celebrate. They get to look forward to getting presents. But I don't think we're going to have that as much of a robust celebration as the years past. So it's really going to put a strain on a lot of folks. So if you're one of the people that's suffering with regards to COVID, unemployment, uh, post-elections, hang in there. I think 2021 will be something we look forward to. And we can anchor that has a potential for doing better. We just have to have a glimmer of hope. So if you are suffering from anxiety or more abruptly, if the anxiety is leading to poorer sleep, Poor sleep usually translates to high caffeine. High caffeine will usually mean better wakefulness, but worse sleep the next night. So this stuff, L-theanine, I, I don't really take coffee. I have reflux. I do have green tea and a lot of it. And green tea, one of the active ingredients is L-theanine. EGCG is also a phytonutrient too, but L-theanine is great. So here's how it works. Without getting too much into the weeds, uh, those of you who are on caffeine, you know you need the caffeine because it, you're tired. And with the change in season and the daylight shortening, we probably are getting more tired because the circadian rhythm is off. Uh, sometimes when the days get shorter and colder, circadian rhythm gets knocked off until you reset it. And that's what I did the video for with regards to rhodiola and ashwagandha because it helps the adrenals reset in addition to you resetting your meal plan, your exercise, your sleep uh, habits. Now, you can't really force yourself to sleep, but sometimes if the other components of what I show here don't work, it might be worth it a uh, try at least. So the way this works, uh, there are some studies. Uh, uh, most of the studies were funded by Sun Theanine Corporation, I think out of Japan. So you have to take the study for what it's worth, but uh, generally recognized as safe. I think it's worth the investment of trying or experimenting on your own. Now, as doctors, we always want to make sure that we suggest things that have been studied and reviewed. And then if there's low risk in use and high benefit in potential use, I think it's a win-win. So I'd say if you're having a problem with getting to sleep or you're having more anxiety in COVID winter, or you're really needing more caffeine and you're trying to reset the circadian rhythm, but, but the caffeine causes side effects, this would be worth it. So let's get down to how this works. Um, basically, so some would consider this a nootropic, meaning that it has an affinity to cross the blood-brain barrier. Mm, some of my patients take GABA. And you would think the functional medicine guys suggest the GABA because you're low on GABA. Theoretically, if you have anxiety, you're probably low on GABA or too high on glutamate. Now, those are the two receptors in the brain. And L-theanine works to block more glutamate from being produced. And when you have glutamate, which is excitatory, and GABA, which is relaxing, inhibitory, when you decrease one, the other, even if it's a low, uh, the GABA, if, even if it's low, it'll still be the dominant hormone. You can call it a hormone or a neurotransmitter. And if, it, if this works at 100 to 200 milligrams at night to decrease glutamate, then the resultant amount of gamma will have more stimulation, will have more uh, power. So you should have calm. So that's how it sometimes, well, that's the majority of how it works is has a nootropic. Now, <clears throat> some people, it's nice to have calm during the day. So there were some studies where people that were having caffeine and having the side effects of caffeine, I mean, it's nice to be woken up, but sometimes those other side effects, palpitations, anxiety later on. When you take the caffeine with this in a limited amount of studies, it showed improvement, negating those side effects and still taking advantage of the caffeine energy producing. So uh, now I like to look on consumer labs and it didn't have uh, enzymatic therapies, but uh, it did have Swanson, Now Foods, 
Thorn, all of them got approved. So uh, in this unboxing, I'll just do this one because I, I like enzymatic therapy, uh, but um, I'm pretty confident that your L-theanine uh, will be generally recognized as safe. So this is the size of the pill, it's pretty small. And that's that, so kind of small. And it's capsule, so it should go down easy. Now don't, when you take this at night, don't take it with a lot of fluids because you'll have to pee in the middle of the night. So just with a swig, or maybe if you take it as you're eating your dinner and then that's it. And, and also if you're trying to reset your sleep and work on deeper sleep, alpha wave, uh, no alcohol. You can save the alcohol for one day on the weekend, perhaps. I'm not gonna rob you of alcohol, but <clears throat> it's not good. And just make sure you'll have to have more caffeine in the morning to get rid of the side effects of alcohol. And then that'll cause more of a sleep problem. So you have to have alcohol. That's what I was doing back in the 90s. It was terrible. Then I wound up having, having atrial fibrillation. I got shocked. Not good. So if you need the caffeine, fine. Try L-theanine, one to 200 milligrams at night. I think it works pretty well. You can sometimes take it during the day too, just to calm and offset the caffeine side effects. One precaution though, is that in some cases when you are on a blood pressure medicine and you take L-theanine, you'll, your blood pressure will drop. Why? Because your blood pressure is probably due to anxiety. So if this helps you with anxiousness and it lowers your anxiety, you're not gonna need as much of a high blood pressure pill. So I, I think this in combination with say dandelion root might be worth it. If you're going to do this in combination with SAMe or ashwagandha or fish oil or um, <clears throat> CBD THC, I think it'd be worth it, but don't do everything all together at the same time. Keep the other supplements as they're going currently and then add on when everything else is stable add on one of these every night for like seven to 10 nights and see how you feel. So that's how I would do a limited study. And uh, with the intention that you're gonna try to reset, get to bed, calm with breath work. I'm gonna be doing a video, a podcast interviewing a behavioral health person, LCPC, uh, Patty soon. So check out the video that we're gonna put together. Otherwise, hopefully this helps you in addition to resetting your circadian rhythm. And if it doesn't, Listen, uh, the the studies show very little side effect profile. So, I mean, it's only like 11 bucks. So there's um, 60 of these. And the other one, Swanson, uh, Thorn, uh, Life Extension, Now Foods. I like Now Foods because they're at Fruit for Yield, the local company. I support them. I have nothing, I don't get any kickbacks, but I just like their products. So hopefully this gives you a, another version. I had some people who had had tried melatonin spray at night, which is really good because you just roll over. You don't have to get up. You don't even have to take any sip of water. You just roll over, spray two sprays under your tongue and cool. But uh, it does happen to cause some side effects in a small population as far as headaches. So it might not be the best for you. And L-theanine, again, I haven't seen any side effects except for lowering blood pressure. But I think that's a good thing. If you can lower your blood pressure because it's due to anxiety, then you don't need your pill anymore. And you might have to get to a counselor or behavioral therapist for the anxiety, but why not do this for now? So give it a thumbs up. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And if you have anybody else that's suffering from difficulty with sleep, resetting the new winter sleep, there is a small study that said this is also good for fighting infection. So COVID times, I think what the study showed is that when you get deeper sleep, your immune system reboots better, and that's the anecdote. So I would just count on a calming state and maybe a lower blood pressure by a few millimeters of mercury, uh, in addition to exercise and loss of weight and sleeping properly and mindful practice. So give it a try. Hopefully it works for you. Put your comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next video.